Today we're going to be going over the installation and compatibility of the Corsair Hydro Series H105 CPU cooler. Inside the box you'll find everything you need to install the H105. There's the radiator, two of our SP120L PWM controlled static pressure fans, the mounting kits required for all modern Intel or AMD sockets, the Y cable needed for controlling the fans from the motherboard, and two different colored swappable caps for the water block. The first thing we'll do is the easiest part. You can swap the cap on the water block to make it match the color scheme of your build, so we're going to remove the silver cap and replace it with the blue one. Use a flat object like a flathead screwdriver or ruler and pry the cap up. Then take the cap of your choice, line it up with the notches, and snap it into place. Next we need to screw the fans into the radiator. Eight long screws are included with the H105. Line up the fans with the exhaust side, the side with the four struts, facing the radiator, then one by one affix the fans using all eight screws. If you want to make cable management a bit cleaner, figure out in advance where you plan to mount the radiator in your case and what orientation, then orient the fans so that their cables will face the motherboard tray. For this video, we'll be installing the H105's backplate and block onto the most common platform currently available, Intel's LGA1150. Note that this is also compatible with LGA1155 and LGA1156, which both use the same mounting hole spacing as LGA1150. First, slide the posts on the backplate all the way inward. Next, line up the mounting posts with the four holes around the rear of the processor socket and press them into place. It may take a little bit of shimmying, but it will fit. There are four chrome-colored double-ended screws included with the H105. For this installation, we held the backplate in place with one hand and installed the first two on opposite corners. Finish by installing the remaining two. This will hold the backplate into place and provide the framework for the water block. Next, we'll mount the radiator to the case. We're installing it as an exhaust in the top of our Graphite Series 760T. There are eight conventional screws included with the H105. Hold the radiator in place and then screw two in at the center. From there, the radiator should be able to hang without your support, so you can easily screw in the remaining six. We've already done all of our prep work for installing the water block. The H105 comes with thermal material pre-applied to the cold plate, so just remove the cap and then slide the block down on the posts. Take the four screw caps included and attach them the same way you would the lug nuts on a tire. One corner, then the opposite corner. This ensures even pressure. Finally, we want to make sure everything is connected. The cable on the water block is used to power the pump and should always be running at full power if possible. So attach it to one of the system or chassis fan headers on the motherboard. Then connect the two radiator fans to the included Y cable and plug that cable into the CPU fan header on the motherboard. Your H105 is installed. The H105's unique profile makes it an excellent option for eking extra CPU cooling performance out of cases that don't include mounts for 280mm radiators, but it can present compatibility issues of its own. Ensure your case has at least 63mm of clearance above the motherboard. The following Corsair cases are compatible with the H105. From the Obsidian series, we have the 900D, the 800D, the 750D, and the 650D. From the Graphite series, we have the 760T, the 730T, and the 600T. Finally, we have the Vengeance C70, the Carbide Series Air 540, and the Carbide Series 500R.